Hey guys! So tonight we are going to go through my getting ready for school supplies haul, I guess you would call it. Um, most of these things are going to be from Amazon or Target. A couple of them I already got earlier in the summer, but most of this is pretty recently purchased. So I will link them down below in the description. So I am upstairs in the office slash playroom. We do have our main playroom downstairs, but when I'm doing something upstairs, I kind of want the girls to be closer to me. So we also have a playroom up here and kind of like Kaylee's old crib. So it's kind of like a day bed. I kind of have everything just kind of stacked instead of like completely spread out. So I'm just going to grab them and show you guys in the frame. So hopefully that will work the best, but I do have a lot of things to show you. So let's get started and hope this won't be too, too long. Here we go. All right, the first thing I'm gonna show you are these really awesome posters I got. I got these from Amazon. So they come in a set and they also, it was hard to kind of like tell, but they are like in plastic and there's like a little hole right here. So you could like hang them up off of that. Um, or of course you could just kind of hang them on the wall, however, but um, anyway. So that's not really shown online, so I wanted to show you guys that. So here's the days of the week, the seasons, opposites, months of the year, the alphabet, colors, the weather, farm animals, numbers and I like how it's written out one one and then it has you know a certain number of animals too that's really cute and then one through 100 2d and 3d shapes which is awesome and then time so all of those came in a set on Amazon I'll be using these clear command hooks to hook them up and for right now I am going to be using that little um, hole right there so we'll see we might have to end up opening these and then doing like um, hole punch or something to that effect but we'll see how this holds up it does feel pretty thin though and then these boards are I think it was by Elmer's they're 16 by 20 and it comes in a pack of three and I'm going to be making kind of like a I don't want to call it a chore chart, but um, Kaylee's potty trained now, and so we actually were giving her stars for that. So she kind of wants some kind of reward system, which she does help us with, like, the laundry and clearing the table and helping out with her sister. Another one, like, not whining. So stuff like that. I kind of want to be able to give her, like, stars and things so she can um, earn things. So kind of incentive for her. But it's always nice to have like little boards like that. Sorry, these were from Target, um, both of these, the boards and the command hooks. These um, dry erase little pockets were from Amazon. It came in a six pack and there's the little um, holder for the dry erase pen. And I just made this for Kaylee on my computer. And I think it's chalkboard font chalk duster or something I can look it up but I liked how the a was actually like a real a instead of like curved up but anyway um so I do have that laminate as well and that's inside of here it's just a lot easier to erase than on the laminate it's literally just easier to wipe off of this speaking of laminating I love this laminator it is by Scotch. So you turn it on, it's got three and five milliliter thickness. The first time I didn't even wait for the ready light to come on and it worked really well. It had no issues. So that was really nice. And this does tuck, I just kind of leave it like this, but it does like fold down. Stand it upright instead of having it take up space on your desk. So um, I love this. I haven't had any issues. I've only used it for about a week now. So I love that. And along with the laminator, I'm just gonna show you one, but laminating pouches. So this one was from Amazon. 
not it's not the scotch brand so i tried the scotch brand that came with the laminator and they were fine but i read the reviews on the amazon brand and it was less expensive and i actually saw a comparison it was like side by side of just the sheet itself and the amazon one was actually clearer than the scotch one so i went with this i figured why not try it and if it works it works and if it doesn't then i'll just go back to the scotch but yeah so the amazon one is working wonderfully which is awesome so that's like <laughs> my new best friend binders guys okay so these are both avery yeah they're both avery and this one is a half inch and this is a one inch i actually got four of each i will tell you my favorite thing about them is that they're like the slant um like the slant d-ring binders both of them are so i think the half inch ones i bought just four individually and then the one inch i bought in a pack of, that came with four and those were on amazon as well so you definitely need that and i kind of underestimated how much space i was going to need especially with the all the velcro dots taking up space so i definitely had to change over to a one inch but i can do that in another video and this has been amazing so this is from learning resources we got this a couple of months ago but i definitely had to mention it because it's amazing and just use grab whatever you're gonna you know need like we have yeah the duodot markers are in here she loves those we have colored pencils in one a bottle of glue a glue stick and scissors in the other one and that does wonderfully for us we have a separate little container of crayons, but she prefers colored pencils. This is something that's going to keep my one-year-old busy while I'm trying to teach my three and a half-year-old. Um, all of these are color wonder markers and they are completely clear. They don't have any kind of actual ink. So like you could, you can like write and it's not gonna show up on you. And this came in like a kit but there's just a ton of pictures and um things i don't really want to color it but i want to show you guys so see how it's i'll take a second and then the color will show up but yeah so i got that for her so hopefully that will keep her attention and i got this at target and this case is from michael's and i got that last year going along with markers i have this in just a tin that we had from a puzzle and it was a very very tiny puzzle and we just use it for markers now so these are pipsqueaks washable markers so she loves frozen we just keep those mini markers in there and then her larger markers we keep in this case, which this is from, the case is from Michael's again. These are her favorite markers. So the Duodot Art Rainbow Markers, it has six colors in here. The purple is her absolute favorite. And this one's like a new one because I got a new box, but they're amazing very little mess i was actually kind of surprised how little mess and how careful she is with these actually a lot less mess than regular markers so highly recommend these and there are different colors too this was from amazon just a box of crayons target okay this bin is from ikea i got these from amazon just expo markers. I already had a set of the larger ones that we're going to use on her easel or on my large whiteboard when I do get that for downstairs, which we're not doing that whole big setup yet. These, um, what brand are these? Parku. You want to see that? I do really like these. My favorite part is that they're magnetic and they have the eraser at the tip. I also like just the regular Expo. These are ultra fine. So those are really nice when she's doing something like tracing lines or writing. Um, 
I also like the Crayola dry erase, but some of these like this pink's actually okay, but some of these like neon, like really light colors are harder to see, but I mean, it makes it more exciting when she has colors to choose from. So we have quite the assortment. We have bears. So these are learning resources, uh, three bear family sort pattern and play activity set. So these are absolutely amazing. I got this set on Amazon. They have it at Target too, but they have all kinds of activities and like pattern cards. They have like little bear buddies for a picnic and it's very, very cute. So, and I also found this was at Tot Schooling, totschooling.net actually has activities like a pretty good amount of activities for this as well and it comes with the bowls and dice and three different size bears there we go if you can kind of see you can see how little especially this little guy the baby bear is so tiny and you just really need to watch out for little ones so of course my three and a half year old loves to play with these she always wants to play with her bears and it's the little baby ones that i worry about with my one-year-old she just turned 15 months today so whew. so this little guy i worry about so just gotta tell Haley to be super careful so be careful if you have little ones that put things in their mouth with um, the bears this is amazing you guys so you just push it down and drag it across and it cuts your paper super easily this lifts up um i was like dying cutting things out for the little binders it's been driving me crazy so i got this instead of one of those really huge like cutters and it takes up a lot less space it's like super thin there's like nothing to it super light um i also like that the blade is like in there you like have to like push it out too so you know i feel like it's a little more safe and it doesn't take up much space so that's been awesome i also have this um white clean get ready for school abc and one two three um Esborn book and it does come with a i've already opened this too it does come with like their own white clean pen which i kind of keep it there but we usually use like our expo ones but it's really cute She's already written some of these, but it's really cute. They have like a lot of little things to trace. <laughs> I didn't realize that she did all these. So yeah, I just kind of leave this out like in the on the kitchen table so she can kind of just grab and do it whenever she wants to. It's not like it's like a structured thing. So we got this probably about a month ago and she really likes it. So that's been fun, but there's alphabet and, um, numbers in here super simple i just got her a couple notebooks or just got us a couple notebooks just to kind of have on hand um nothing's these are like the flexible ones too they're not paper so they're not gonna like rip um i just kind of wanted to have these on hand as well as the composition notebooks actually i got these last year these i got this year um but she also kind of does some like cutting and pasting and just um, cutting and pasting and just kind of placing things or practicing her name and things we kind of put in here. And we've done some letters too, but these are kind of more advanced for her. She doesn't need these quite yet. These are like the primary journal and the primary composition books. And this kind of has like a space for a picture at the top and she can um, practice sentences and practice, you know, words and writing. So I figure this would be good for her, um, maybe next year or the year after we'll see, but I definitely kind of wanted to have some of these available in case we were ready to start practicing some words. So we'd at least have, you know, something other than just the regular, like wide ruled. So I figure it'd be easier for her to write on these guys so those pretty basic but and i got some sheet protectors 
for the binders. These are just the Avery brand. I also got some from Target, but I think these actually said like dry erase, like they were for dry erase, but I've laminated so many things. And now I have these dry erase pouches. This bin I have from Ikea as well. Um, and I just pee touched it, construction paper. So I do have construction paper in here. These are shapes, so you can actually kind of, I don't know if you can see that, do you need a different color? I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like perforated that you can see like hearts and circles and stars. And I really don't know how easy that is for you guys to see, but there's shapes that you can punch out in here. So I thought that would be really cool for some like craft time. So I kind of like have that there and the rest of it, I kind of really wanted to split it up, but at least I sorted it by color and <laughs> at least it's sorted by color. But if I need black, it's really hard to get down there. So I put one up top. So construction paper. I love these bins, by the way. This is also from Ikea. This is just the roll of paper. You could use it on like a tabletop, but we have the really large easel. It's actually a Melissa and Doug easel. And we have a roll of this inside and this is just our replacement. So I have one of those. And apparently when we moved, I lost my three hole punch. So I got a new three hole punch and this was on Amazon. And this made me so happy. So. My favorite color is pink, and this is a baby pink stapler. It is absolutely adorable. I feel like um, the author is like, oh, don't touch my stapler. <laughs> but um, this is the cutest thing ever. I was so excited when I opened the box today, and a little pink um, stapler was in there. I was not expecting it to be pink. I was expecting it to be, like, just gray, or I think there was, like, a blue one or something, but you don't get to pick the color, so that's why I was so excited. So this is my other stapler. It's so much bigger, and this one does up to, like, I think it says 40, yeah, 2 to 40 sheets on it, and it's just huge. Like, there's no need for me to have, like, this massive stapler when I can just carry this little guy down, like, have this one downstairs and leave this one at the desk, and this also has, like, a staple remover which I didn't realize that I didn't have one so I got a staple remover from Target you never realize you never realize that you need one until you don't have one so I got one of those as well as this little guy in the end I also got it was actually a three pack so there is a black one as well that came in this set of um it was a set of three and just basic um this front part is the mesh and then this back part has like the plastic part but these are just gonna go in like the back of the binders for either some dry erase markers or pencils or it depends on what's in the binder but um, I also will probably put some laminated pieces um, like organize them in the back for the binder so yeah Maybe I'll show you guys that once I get the binders put together too. But these are nice. And before I found that, I got this at Target. This is like, I don't know, it's like a soft, not quite silicone feel, but I don't know if it tells you what it's made of. It doesn't, but it tells you it's from China. But anyway, it's a binder pouch and this one is just, oh, that's cute. It's like rainbow on the side. But this one is just all kind of plasticky so plastic versus fabric so it depends this one's very cute so I'll probably put this in Kaylee's binder and I actually got pencil boxes but they are a lot thinner and just smaller overall than what I was expecting and I also didn't realize that they had this divider here but for the uses that I found for them it's not a big deal at all so one of them I ended up putting my rubber bands in which I also didn't have like but a couple rubber bands so I have like the smallest ones up here and then everything else is just kind of stacked so that actually worked out perfectly so again I didn't know it had the divider but it's really kind of cool for my use right now and this was at Target Woo! all right let's talk scissors so 
I have like one pair of scissors that like I use for everything and it's getting kind of I feel like dull. So I ended up getting this pair. It's actually Scotch Titanium. These were from Target and I like them so far. So I got those. I think I have another pair coming in the mail. These are the Up and Up brand. It came in a pack of two and I don't know about you, but scissors just go missing. Um, I also kind of wanted to try these out for her. So they also kind of have like sort of a grip and it was pink. And I think the other one was blue and I have that stored away in an extra supply bin. But yeah, it came in a pack of two for the Up and Up brand. And then I have the Fiskars brand. Both of these are. And this one is the rounded tip and this one is the pointed. And the funny thing is, is that I bought these first, the pink ones first. And then I was thinking, hmm, maybe there's a smaller pair that I should have her start out with since she's learning how to cut. So I got the rounded tip, but they are like exactly the same size. Like I, I don't understand. They're like exactly the same size. I don't know if you can tell pretty much not really. It's not like a sharp point. So I just kind of leave them out, leave these two out and kind of like let her decide. But there are like all of them are like the same size no difference so we just kind of have a couple out now i also have regular school glue i have a 12 pack of the disappearing purple glue sticks and i already have one of these downstairs it's the 7.625 um size so it's like larger so when she was using this, it just seemed really awkward to me. So she, I ended up getting her the four ounce bottles as well. So we're actually going to use this and kind of like refill because I didn't realize there was such a large difference. So I got two of the smaller ones and I have another larger bottle downstairs. And we still have a couple of the glue sticks, but we're using glue. We're practicing. So speaking of glue, um, I usually get, I think it's Loctite brand, but I'm trying out the Gorilla Super Glue Gel, and this does say 10 to 45 seconds. So I will try that. But if you are doing any kind of crafts with a toddler and something ha needs to stick like fast, you do not want to be waiting for liquid glue to dry. So I got this, so we are not waiting forever or like half a day for something to dry. So I highly recommend something like this if you are helping them with a project and you need it to dry quickly for stability reasons. I got, I think it was a six pack of just regular, like the green package. I think it's called magic tape, scotch tape, whatever it's called. So needed some tape. A hundred count pack of jumbo paper clips, literally just regular paper clips, guys, nothing cool. And I forgot about the staples that came with my little stapler. I also got these, Ticonderoga pencils. They're larger than regular number two pencils. The sharpener I've also found to be pretty nice as well. Um, I actually got two packs of these so we could have the extra sharpeners around and she definitely liked the pencil so I got more. Yeah, awesome. I like these. I got the Pentel white erasers. They're awesome, especially for things that you realize that they're writing on but you want to reuse so erasers expo whiteboard cleaner i feel like i just need to clean like maybe once a week with the whiteboard cleaner speaking of whiteboard i also got her a frameless dry erase board this was from target the whole thing has i'm just gonna open it so it has magnetic backing but and then this is magnetic too with these little markers so I'm hoping that she can kind of practice her name or practice her letters um, shapes things like that on here so something smaller she doesn't have to stand at her easel um, her whiteboard easel to do oh my goodness I got two rulers I got a flexible one which is super flexible it's crazy and then we also have just a regular wooden ruler this I got, it was actually last year I got it in the dollar section. It was actually just the dollar, the dollar section of um, Target, the dollar spot in Target. And it literally is just the lowercase alphabet. 
and I'm going to put this on our whiteboard when we get that downstairs and have the lowercase alphabet on display. So I really want this up there as well. Which way am I showing you guys? This way? So I also found this at the dollar spot in Target too. I got this last year as well and it's just all of these like kind of flashcards but I'm debating about putting these up on our whiteboard as well because I kind of like how it has capital and lowercase. I got some unruled index cards so we can make our own and I can laminate or print or whatever but just got some plain index cards. I just got regular folders um just the ones I can actually put in a binder and put like some just laminated um, activities in there for her that I don't have hole punched or don't have or that don't need any kind of like velcro pieces they just have extra things for them I can just kind of keep them in the folder I also got the colored pencils these are the ones that have the thicker pencil part with it so they're not like the thin ones she prefers the thin ones though but her little sister when she actually starts like holding a pencil will have her kind of start with these I know that she shouldn't be starting that early but you know right start she just wants to do everything her sister does so i also found these at target these are the maps u.s maps so i got a blank one and then i also got a colored one that has all of the states and oceans kind of listed but i kind of wanted to have them i didn't also didn't realize that there was 30 sheets and it's like a whole pad but i'm going to cut all of these out and have laminate these by myself and then have this be laminated professionally because it's too large for me to do in my little machine i believe these are 11 by 14. this one laminated this one i will cut out and laminate the pieces myself and then we can kind of do like a puzzle match kind of thing and yeah i didn't realize that there's 30 of them but we can use them over the years that's fine <laughs> okay i got all of these at Target. These shapes and colors, numbers and animals, we got these last year. These are great. I also got, let's see, all of these were this year. So we got sight words, um, colors and shapes. I know she's not ready for this one yet, but the phonics flashcards. Um, I thought this was actually like a nice set. Learn and play flashcards. So there's, this is a four pack. There's letters and numbers, shapes and colors, sight words one and sight words two. And actually a bunch of these, they were listed under the dollar spot in Target, but it said that they weren't available in store. So I did have to order them online anyway, which that's where I got the majority of these things was online. Yeah, we're not going to focus on sight words quite yet, but letters and numbers, shapes and colors, we are all about right now. So putting these all aside and we'll focus on these right now but and these obviously but yeah I'm these are wipe clean there's different ones too this is the 50 sight word slash cards and these are like wipe clean dry erase ones so the here is the car and it actually you know has like the dots to like trace that's pretty cool that they can trace it. I like that. I think that's it. Just kidding. So along with making those binders, there's, you need the Velcro dots. So there's like the um, sticky ones and then the soft ones. So those are actually too big for a lot of the projects that I was doing. And you know, the larger the dot, the more sticky it's gonna be and harder to get off the page. So I got these, and these work so much better. Because you want it to stick, you don't want it to be like stuck there forever. So you can see the difference, <laughs> it's crazy. So these I think were three quarters of an inch, and this was 10 millimeters it said. I think that was 0.39 inches, and this is 0.75 inches. So it's literally half the size. So highly recommend the small dots. The three quarters of an inch ones are just way too big for little ones to be picking up laminated pieces off of a page and this was something i didn't show y'all yet either these letters are from amazon and kaylee was just spelling her name out but they're awesome they're really thin and they have a pretty decent magnet on it too 
it's not too hard to move. Um, but yeah, they're foam letters. And there's more than one set. I believe it was like two sets or something in here. So these are all extras, but this is the whole alphabet and all the numbers. This board was from Office Max. And this is just that pen that came with it. And it is magnetic too. This was originally going to be like her chore chart kind of thing. But I do kind of like having the other one and kind of making that one my own. So we will see how it goes. But I almost forgot to show you guys this. So there you have it. I know I talked way too long and hopefully I can cut that down some, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff and that's not even all of it. I have some things still needs to ship or is still like on its way. So I'm sure that I'm going to do like a part two or kind of show you guys how I organize some of this stuff. But yeah, that's all for now and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.